Hi there, this is Anime with Luminous Resume, and today we're going to talk about LinkedIn and profile setup. LinkedIn is the world's largest professional network with more than 400 million members in 200 countries and territories around the globe. This professional networking website can be used to emphasize your work history and education, as well as help you get in contact with people who may be able to help you on your journey to your dream job. We're going to start off with your account setup. I've pre-filled some information. I'm going to click on join now. I'm going to verify some information. There's a section here that asks whether I'm a student or not. And just for training purposes and uh, for this example, I'm going to put human resources manager. You know what, we'll just put confidential because that's... So LinkedIn wants to know what the purpose of this account is going to be for, for finding a job, staying up to date with the industry, building a professional network. Uh, for this example, we're just going to select find a job. The great thing about LinkedIn is that you can import your contacts from all of your email. You can also decide to uh, import and link it with your Facebook, but I really don't recommend that. Now to begin creating your profile. There's some suggestions already. Great. Let's continue on. Skip that portion there. Let's go straight to your profile. Make sure to select a photo that captures your personality and professionalism. You should be well rested and dressed as you would for work. The background should not be too busy and it should not be a selfie. There we go. LinkedIn also provides these little tips that pop up and you can definitely follow them. There's a lot of great information on here, very user friendly, but I'm going to shut that off for now. Also for now, I'm going to shut off this notify your network. If we have it on, it's going to tell everybody every little change that you make on your profile and we'll turn that on at the optimal time. So there's a lot of different sections on here. You can fill all of these out. The more complete your profile is, the better. You'll see that the profile st strength is still at beginner. Next step would be intermediate. So what we're going to do is we're going to add some experience. ABC Company. And you'll see what I'm getting at. I'm going to tie everything together here in just a minute. Earlier we did a video on how to create a resume. So this is where you can go back and forth between different windows and just copy and paste. This is pretty much the same information that you can find in your resume. So let's pull up this information that we just typed in for your resume. Copy that. Go back to the LinkedIn account, paste it, and there you have it. Let's reload. I don't know what error that is. Nope, it didn't save it. Let's try that again. There it is populating. To present.
Great. Let's take a look at it. From time to time, you can view profile as the public or your connections. Let's see what it looks like. Return to the profile. Let's go ahead and add a background photo. Now the profile strength changes to intermediate. The more information you add, the better. The more complete your profile is, the more views you will get, the more professional your profile will look. You can move around the background. Go ahead and save that. And we do have a summary from the resume that we created earlier. There's our summary. Copy and paste that right in. If you already have one, it's easier to do the other. See, it populates all on its own. Add another language if you got one. Deutsch. We're not going to take any proficiency tests right now. I'm not going to add any samples. I will add the website, luminousresume.com. I'm going to move on down and add education. You see how it, how it shows you a list of schools? I'm sure you can find your school in there. Just for the tutorial, we're going to go ahead and just add some stuff here. There's a section to put your GPA, activities and societies, and description. Go ahead and just save that. Now perhaps you can start notifying your network because we're going to start adding some skills and abilities. Here we go with the skills. Remember earlier on one of our other videos we talked about ONET Online? We talked about first-line supervisors. So the same wording, the same descriptors that are used in this website that has been created by the Department of Labor, they're going to be the same words that are going to show up here. Standard industry wording. Yes, we do want to be endorsed. I may not want the notifications right now. So let's choose a few. Brought me back down. Okay. Customer service. Always go back and forth through your resume, scheduling, inventory. You get the idea? Save all that. Be careful also that you don't make your history, your work history too long. If it's an old position and doesn't pertain to what you're doing now, you may just want to leave a short description. Uh, it's a good idea, like I said earlier, from time to time, go back up here, take a look and see what your profile looks like to the public. 
enter your connections. Looks pretty good. Take a look at the profile strength. Now we're up to expert. Another thing that's good to know is uh, with LinkedIn, you can move things around. You can decide to to rearrange these sections. I would still keep the, the summary above. And just like in your resume, if your experience is, if you have a, a stronger work history than your education, then you would want that in the at the top. Otherwise, if your education is a little stronger, you might want to move that up. And these changes are going to be published to your network. <clears throat> now I want to discuss how and why to connect with other people. Well, we did connect through our current uh, contacts via email, but now let's take a look and just add some, you can add companies, companies to follow, influencers, uh, friends, former coworkers, supervisors, recruiters. So if um, for training purposes, for this tutorial, let's just go ahead and look at, since we're talking about retail sale, sales, let's look at Sears. And you would follow this company. Also, you can see that they have a section just for careers. You can go down and see all the jobs at Sears. Another company to follow could be Target. Follow. And here we go. Here's something else that I want to show you. Let's put in Target again. See how on the top it says people who work at Target? You can click on that and see if you can find anyone that you know or someone who you know in common, someone who can introduce you to uh, a third party. Here's an influencer. Why not follow this influencer? Then you'd get updates and useful information. Since we're on the topic of influencers, another good one is, there's a lot of different people, Richard Branson. Another good one is Mark Cuban. Go ahead and add some people that, that you know. Let me just show you how this is done. You can connect. It's going to pop this window up and it's going to ask you how you know this person, whether they're a colleague, a classmate, if you've done business together. But you never want to keep, if it's a professional contact, you never want to keep it at the default. You want to personalize the message. Voila. So when you're looking also at recruiters, you can look for the types of recruiters, like a technical recruiter. If you were looking for a tech job. And a lot of times you can just simply connect with people. Other times it's going to ask you if you know their email address. For instance, this one, just to show you, that one's not going to allow it. Also, simply by clicking on the connect button may not be enough. Uh, if you really want to get noticed, it's good to actually visit the person's profile, read through it, take a look. It's really someone that you want to connect with. And they're going to get the notification up in this section here 
that they have looked at your profile. Okay, so now let's go back to your profile. All the people that you selected, all the people that you clicked on, they're going to notice that you took a look at their profile and they're going to take a look at your profile and see what it is that you're looking for. So sometimes you'll see people put on here something like, whoops, give me a second, I don't know what happened there. Let's go back to the profile. You can make this edit. Let's cancel that. Where was it? <coughs> Excuse me. So let's change this. Sometimes people will put a heading like looking for a new opportunity in and then you can put whatever title it is that you want and that would be your heading. So when people take a look at your profile, immediately they'll see what it is that you're looking for. LinkedIn makes it simple to keep in touch and it will notify you of anyone's promotion and vice versa, someone's birthday. You can like or comment on their activity and it will come in through your feed here through notifications. Just remember that the more complete your profile is, the better. In order to rank high on the profile views and keep yourself visible as available for great employment opportunities, log into your LinkedIn, LinkedIn account and search for new connections often. I'd say at least twice a week. Uh, for more information, if, you're, if you are interested in Luminous Resumes LinkedIn optimization, we can certainly do that for you. Look at www.luminousresume.com. Follow us on Twitter. Jo at Job Luminous on Instagram and check us out on Facebook. Thank you.